Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on websites like eBay and Poshmark. You can find me on Instagram as Elducha Thrift. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and give me a thumbs up on your way out today if you enjoy this video. So I am back with a Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. So as of recent, I have been unboxing their, what is it, scrap box? Whatever they call it. It's like a scrap box clothing. <laughs> can't remember. They now actually have gotten a little more descriptive in their language, which is probably good because yeah, some of their boxes probably weren't as descriptive as they should have been. And you know, you've got to really match customer expectations with what you're selling them. That aside, I ordered something different this time and I did handbags. But instead of one box, I did two boxes. I was able to score one of just like their regular handbag boxes, which aren't as difficult to get. However, I got one of the designer handbag boxes, which I haven't been able to get any of the designer boxes in like forever. They used to be plentiful back when I first started ordering them many years ago. <laughs> now they're much harder to get. I wanna show you what I got in them. I have both of like my receipts here just because I wanted to tell you how much everything cost. So for the name brand handbag box, I believe I'm getting four handbags and one accessory. This accessory I'm reading off the website could be jewelry, sunglasses, scarves, wallet, or watches. I can expect brands like Kate Spade and Coach is what it says. So that box cost me that's funny. <laughs> the price must have gone down. I'm looking at the website right now and it says 90 over there and I paid 100. Rude. So the other one is just handbag, five items. The website for that one says, get a mix of totes, handbags, crossbody bags, small purses, can include brands like Fossil, Vera Bradley, Banana Republic, and more. So that one is 50 and I paid 50. I wonder why the price went down. Do you do price adjustments thread up? Would love to know, asking for a friend. All right, so maybe I'll start with the regular handbag box first so we can be hopefully, I'll be honest, I actually opened these already, but we can get progressively more excited. So here's the first one. The first one actually came in a larger box than the other one, but that's just gonna be dependent on what sort of handbags they put in there for you. So the first item, I'm going to actually set my box down is kind of like a, it's like a backpack, duffel style backpack. It does have a leather bottom here with a zip on the bottom. That's interesting, huh? Okay, cool. Anyways, um, it's got this nice canvas material on the top and I believe this one is a Lucky Brand bag. I do shop at the Goodwill outlet. So a lot of times I ask myself like, would I have picked this up at the Goodwill outlet? And then the second part of that question is, what would I have paid for it? So would I have picked this up from the Goodwill outlet? Yes, I would have. Now I did get, how many pieces are in here? I think five. So the box was 50, I paid $10 per piece. Would I have paid $10 for this bag? No, uh, and I'll tell you why. The condition of it is not great. There is staining just all over here. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the condition of this is supposed to be sold in. So I, I'm just like, do I have grounds for contacting them about this? It, it, it's heavily stained across here. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see it. So in this condition, no, I would not have. Will I clean this bag up? Yeah, I think I probably will. I'm gonna spray it with my grandma's stain remover cleaner bottle that I like using. It's just a product that I like using. So anyways, I'm gonna spray it. I'll let it sit. There's tons of it. It looks like somebody just like ate their spaghetti dinner on top of here and then let it dry. <laughs> the back is not too bad, but that makes sense because the way you wear a backpack, it's just not gonna get ex as much exposure. You know, in terms of, oh gosh, you're gonna wash the leather. Yeah, I am. I have washed leather before in the washing machine and it does fairly well. <laughs> And to be honest, it's not the end of the world if I kill this backpack, but it, I do like how it closes here though. Let's say this, look at that. That's fun. You just pull on the straps to wear it and then bam, the backpack's closed. Even in better condition, would I have paid $10 for this? No, not for resale. To use, maybe, it's kind of a cute backpack. I don't love the colors, but anyways, let's move on. Okay, so mm, for me, that one's like, mm, yeah. Okay, next is this fun little clutch. It's like a fan style. Now, already just from touch, it doesn't feel that nice. The quality of this feels like, I would actually say less than Target. This feels like maybe Shein or something like that. 
there's just a lot of thread pulls along here. It doesn't feel very nice. And I, to be honest, I don't remember what this brand is. And this leather tassel feels really cheap. It looks like it was added after the fact as well. It doesn't even actually look like it belongs to this bag. Okay, <laughs> so there's no brand. There is a weird padding in here. Like it almost feels like this is a changing diaper table. It's, yeah, for like a baby doll. So um, would I pay $10 for this? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> it's cute. Yes, we can definitely say some stuff is cute, but I would not have paid $10 for this for resale. To be honest, I'll probably take this tassel off because I don't think it goes to it. I think it looks probably better without it. Will I still resell it? Sure. Yes, because there's a buyer for everything. <laughs> Do I think I'll maybe net $10, hopefully? Hopefully, that's, yeah, that would be my hope. Okay, next is this large gold metallic -y woven purse. This feels really nice. Again, I don't really remember what the brand is on this one. So what I would be looking for on here would be damage to any of the weaving. And I don't see any which is great um, because again, I don't think this box was supposed to come damaged in any way. All right, the inside is satin lined with this really pretty, um, what is this color? I always forget, it's like a bluey purple. Is it periwinkle? Not sure. So I think that there's probably, maybe, I was gonna say supposed to be a crossbody strap in here, but actually the, I don't see any hooks, so maybe not. In terms of the brand, okay, here we go. So it's Neiman Marcus, which is a higher end department store. However, sometimes these handbags that are branded with the department store name, they're not always the nicest. Just because it's a nice department store doesn't mean that it's a fancy handbag. It's just something that they branded, right? This is just a a handbag that they their designers chose and they stamped their logo on it. It does feel nice to their credit, it, it, you know, I feel like this is something my mom would like. Actually, it's too big for her, but if it was a little bit smaller, my mom would totally rock this purse, I think. I was trying to see if there was any material or care tags on here because it almost feels like it's leather. It is cute. I will resell it. Um, again, it's real. I'm, I'm not the best person to ask because I probably would not have paid $10 for this because my cost of goods is so low at the Goodwill outlet. But even if I was shopping at uh, Savers, Valley Village, Goodwill, something like that. I don't know. I would have to look up comps on this. If I had to guess off the top of my head, I'm guessing this bag at most would resell for maybe $50 and that feels like it's on the high end. But again, I would, you know, I'll look up comps and photograph it and hopefully I'll be delightfully surprised. So no, I probably wouldn't have initially picked it up. I'd comp it, maybe. That one's so far like the best. Okay, moving on is this black crossbody bag. It feels like leather. It's got this really pretty braiding across the top here. A leather tassel here. This leather tassel feels nicer than the other one. This one does feel a little bit buttery, which is sometimes an indicator of a nicer brand or nicer leather. The inside has just got this cloth lining. Mm, there's like hair. <laughs> there's a, little, a lot of hair. It's like dog hair. And that doesn't look like human hair. It definitely looks like dog hair, which is, you know, oh God, there's something in here. Okay, there's a Band-Aid, oh, sick. And then something else. It's like an, an emergency packet, I think. And it is hard as a rock. Ugh, gross. Okay, I want money. I don't want that, you know, the, the surprise you find you want to be money. In terms of what brand this is, oh my God, there's hair in the coin purse. Okay, here it is. It's, there's a little care tag on the inside here. So it is the brand Fossil, which is a nicer, you know, a nice-ish handbag brand. It does probably retail for quite a bit of money. I wouldn't be surprised to find out this bag retailed for anywhere between $60 to $90 initially. It doesn't always mean resale is there, but I do like picking up the brand Fossil. It says it's made from cowhide leather, so it is a leather. So in terms of gross, this is just like shedding on me. I'm only like slightly a germaphobe. Ugh. I will lint roll this for sure. Um, that'll take up the hair. It'll be fine once I do that. It's just like initially this is just kind of nasty. And then the outside doesn't really need it, but I'll probably wipe it down just with my leather wipes. I buy that brown tub that, you know, 
you just pull the wipes out one at a time they're good for like your couch or whatever leather products you might have you know i like to keep my cleaning that i do to items as minimal as i can just because time effort etc but this is in really great condition so i'll just give it a wipe down and <laughs> definitely a lint roll would i have paid ten dollars for this mm, no again no because i shop at the outlet but do i think you could make money off this purse if you paid ten dollars for it i do yeah, I actually do think so. I think the style is actually really cute. It's in great condition. The leather's in really nice condition. And you might be able to sell this for maybe like 30 bucks. So it's not a huge profit margin, but I do think that you can make some money here. So this bag and the last bag, I do feel fairly confident that some profit is to be made. The Lucky Brand bag needs to be cleaned up before any profit can be thought about. And then that little clutch fan thingy no, i don't know about that uh okay next last but not least of course save the best for last but we're not done don't worry we still have one more box and that's the good box okay so brighton brighton does make expensive handbags off the top of my head i don't know exactly what they retail for but if i had to make just an estimation i'm gonna go ahead and safely say between 100 to possibly on the high end 400 dollars for me, I know Brighton to make leather goods. However, I actually own some of their woven products like this, and they actually really make some cute woven items. So that must also be a specialty of theirs. So I'm happy that I got the dust bag. Let's just get that right out of the way. Here is the bag. So like I said, it's woven kind of like the brand, the sack, but not as heavy of a knit. Whereas, you know, the, the sack, S-A-K, those tend to be a, a heavier purse. Uh, it does have this nice leather braided strap. The straps appear to be in good condition. And th my other concern would just be the weaving on this material. It's like a straw material almost. The condition actually looks really good. The corners look really good. That's where it could be a problem. Maybe a little bit of mild discoloration there. And then the inside also looks great. So cute bag. Now, I told you Brighton bags retail for quite a bit of money. But what does resale look like? Unfortunately, in my experience, resale on Brighton is not anywhere near <laughs> retail. I've actually struggled sometimes to sell Brighton pieces. I think I have Brighton items in my store and closet now that I've been unable to move. So that's kind of unfortunate. I, I wish, well, I say I wish, and I could put a little effort into it, but I wish I knew what Brighton items sell well. So yeah, this is one of those brands that, you know, that we think of that it's like, gosh, it retails for a lot of money, but the resale is just not really there. So I am excited for that bag. I do think that once I find uh, the right buyer, I will be able to get my money back on that, but it might take some time. Okay, let's do the second box. And I'm on a time crunch, so we're gonna blow through this one. <laughs> okay. First up, so we've got a Dooney and Burke bag. So going back to the price, I paid $100 for this. It's five items. That means this is now $25 a piece. And again, I think these are supposed to be in good condition. So let's assume that. So this is a, I believe, what would this be? Patent leather, Dooney and Burke, purple purse. Um, I mean, first off, it's purple. It's my favorite color, pink, purple, black. Love those three. So it already... I already like it for that reason. It's a little bit of a Barney purple, which is uh, aggressive. There is a little, you know, a little bit of the patent leather missing on the trim here and actually some discoloration. So this patent leather, I don't even know how color transfer happens, but it does. So anyways, mm, so it's not perfect. That's okay. The inside is really clean, has this um, pattern of canvas material that you usually see in these purses and it does have the little authenticity stamping here. It's cute. In terms of will I make my money back on this? I think so. Um, if I get this listed right now, it kind of does have like a Y2K style and feel to it. I did pay $25. No, I probably, I definitely wouldn't have paid $25 in store for this, but will I make my money back? Yes. Do, will I make a lot of money on this? I don't know. 50 bucks would be nice because then it would leave a little bit of room for profit, but it, there's not a ton left in there, especially given the little pieces of leather that are missing. I really would bank on the Y2K thing. Okay, next item 
I shouldn't be surprised to see this in there. It's a Rebecca Minkoff purse. And I just feel like this crossbody style is just a little saturated. I have, in my experience, come across this bag at least like five or 10 times in my reselling career, which is enough for me to know that it's kind of popular. Gross, they just don't even bother to clean this crap out, you guys. Ugh. There's like a receipt and there's like other wrappers in here. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, in terms of condition, this is not great. Um, whether you can see it or not, there are markings here. That one is more obvious, but there's darker discoloration happening along here. Yeah, <laughs> not necessarily loving this. Um, there is just indents here. I'm not gonna hold that part against them. There is a black mark there. The chain looks to be in good condition. This strap is in good condition. The overall body of the bag is in good condition. The inside, I can't tell what this originally was. It looks like it's a darker color, but if you look at the bottom, it's lighter. So what color this started off as, I have no idea. And you can see it says Rebecca Minkoff in there. Um, I can try and clean this up. I don't know how much of that would lift. Another thing that I'm not going to do that I could do is I could dye the leather black. I do have black leather dye. I don't know that I want to put the time and effort into that. I don't know that I want to do it. Anyways, <laughs> it's just too much of a project that I don't have time for, but that is an option that you could do. Would I pay $25 for this? Absolutely not. I don't even know that if that was in good condition, I'd be a little bit concerned about the resale value. If this was about two years ago, I would have said uh, yes. It could have sold for probably like 50 or 60 or $70. Now I will be happy to hopefully get my money back, make maybe make a few more bucks on it. Mm, yeah. Okay, next item. Again, already right off the bat, not great condition. Mark by Mark Jacobs wallet. So Mark by Mark Jacobs is just a diffusion line of Mark Jacobs. So it just means it's less expensive. Um, I do like, personally, I like Marc Jacobs. So this looks like it's got a little cell phone pocket in here, but you're at the mercy of whatever set, size cell phone that is. And at the time that this wallet was made, um, there are some indentations here, like dark discoloration uh, that could wipe up with the leather wipe, possibly not otherwise. And yeah, discoloration there. Hopefully we can get this cleaned up. It's just probably an older wallet is my guess. And then the back is this like taupe coloring, some scratches to the leather there. Again, it could be a candidate for leather dye. Do I want to do that? No, not necessarily, especially because the gold, uh, what would that be, embossing of the Mark by Mark Jacobs. I might cover that up and then hello, that's the whole point of <laughs> selling a designer piece. Okay. All right. Definitely another Y2K. There's a quarter in there, so I've already made a little bit of my money back, guys. They don't bother cleaning these out. This is kind of ridiculous. Another Y2K candidate would be this uh, Dooney & Burke. Is that what it is? Purse. Yeah, this is definitely, I'm, I would guess this was sold in the early aughts. And it's got like this plaid coloring in here. So I'll definitely get this listed while it's hopefully still on trend. Condition on the outside looks pretty good, to be honest. It's got ants. That's funny, like a picnic theme. The inside looks pretty good. Apparently there was money in it. I should check to see if there's any more money in it. Oh, there's hair ties. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. Would I have paid $25 for this? Absolutely not. Do I think I'll make my money back on this one? This one, I do think I will make my money back on. Um, I would like to sell it for 50, but I don't know that it will. We'll maybe 40. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe it could just because of the Y2K thing. Okay, and last but not least is another Mark by Mark Jacobs purse. So I actually really like this one. It's a crossbody style, which is kind of tucked in here right now. I love this handle. It's really sturdy. The handle is in good condition. The outside of the bag is in actually pretty good dis condition. I don't see any discoloration, but you know, under the right light, anything can come to the surface. Yeah, so outside it looks pretty good. The only thing that I would note is the plating here where it says Mark by Mark Jacobs is really scratched up. I like that it's got this double buckle here. So the flap opens and the inside is actually really good. So this purse is in, I would say, pretty dang good condition. I'm trying to see if there's discoloration there. The strap looks good. I might even keep this one for myself. It's just so cute and this is more my style. 
I like this. This is so fun. I feel like, you know, like a little professional carrying it like that. <laughs> so this one, again, for resale, I don't know. I just don't know that Mark by Mark Jacobs has the resale value that I want it to have. But for myself personally, if I saw that in the store, I would pay $25 for it. Reselling that one just because of uh, the wear on the gold plating that is part of a diffusion line. I'm, you know, I, I think it could probably sell for maybe 50 to $60. That would be my hope. It would be nicer if it was black. The color of that one isn't like the best and I'd be concerned about it getting dirty and stuff like that. But overall, I am happy with that one. Would I buy these boxes again? <sighs> Only if it makes sense for your cost of goods. The prices were kind of high. I mean, if we're totally being honest here, the $10 per purse on the first box too much of a risk given that some of the bags I got were kind of low end or just not the best condition. So no, I probably wouldn't buy that box again, maybe just for fun only. The second box, I guess I would. I don't know, again, for resale, it's just tough. $20, $20 bag? $20 a bag, I'm sorry, I think I said 20 init 25 initially. $20 per piece, oof, it's, that's tough, so. It just depends what you what you think would be worth it and your willingness to put you know the elbow grease to clean it up. So anyways, let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section if you purchased one of these boxes. Um, yeah, what's been your experience? But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye.